Joining us now is Four Oaks Achievement Academy Program Director Megan Brown. Thanks for being here today, Megan. Thanks for having me. Well, the summer's coming up, so tell us why is mental health and understanding how important it is, even at young age, why that is so important for people to know? Yeah, so it helps kids to regulate themselves and for families to know what to do with their, my, their kids um, as things go through with them. Um, Mental health is important. We, it's not. A, it's a very touchy subject for a lot of right. people. Right. It's so much different than physical health. It is. It's so yeah. much different. So it's not as much. It's talked about as much. So we want families to know what they need, to, what they can do to help their kids while they're going through certain things in their life. And it's important to know that it's important. But how do families actually go about letting their kids know that it is important? Um, so one, we need adults who are able to regulate themselves too, because that's the key Gotta for everything. Gotta take care everything. of yourself you first. Have to take yeah. care of yourself so you can help the kids to take care of themselves afterwards. But then we need to teach kids what different steps and how they can manage them so themselves. So whether getting them in therapy, um, be his services, all that, so that kids can learn how to properly advocate for themselves. Absolutely. And with summer coming up, without school providing some mental health resources, you know, that maybe would be a little more accessible during yeah. the day, how can kids keep getting their mental health supported? So for one, keep kids outside, have them playing, get in sunlight. Um, away from the phone away and Away from the phone yeah. and screen. <laughs> yeah, easier so one, said than done, though. Yeah. It is easier said than done, but there's things going on in the community that we can have our kids join. So whether those are summer camps, and there's a lot of those being offered throughout the Cedar Rapids area. Um, there's different parks and recs that, that happens, so the rec mobiles goes to different local parks in Cedar Rapids. So have your kids go out and join that. Give them some time to say, here, you got an hour on the phone and an hour outside. So, and then having conversations with them throughout the day um, about what they would like to do. So there's parent and kid interaction also. Right, maybe go to the pool or something pool, like that. Pool, park, <laughs> yeah. So, um, and like I said, the rec mobile is out and they go to several different parks throughout the day. There's, the ma there's one over by Jane Wood Community House, so that's a good one to stop at. I think sometimes you think mental health with maybe teenagers, but yes. school-age children important to address too. Yes, it is very important, um, especially when they're that young. It's hard for them to advocate for themselves and what they need. So um, keep talking to them, looking at what they're writing about, drawing about, what they're watching. See um, what you can do as their parent to meet that need for them. And it so. seems a little overwhelming, but like you said, just listening can just, be the yes. huge step. Yeah. <laughs> um, so like you and I can have a conversation. We yeah. will know exactly what to say about our feelings, but a little kid, they don't know how it's to advocate yeah. for themselves and how to put those into words. So making sure that you're getting down to their level to talk to them, um, check yourself before you're having those conversations with kids. All right, great advice, yeah. Megan. Thanks for joining us here today. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. And stay with TV9. We'll be right back.